Hello, Aries viewers. Let me look in and see what's going on with your person. Uh, this could be an ex, could be a past person, could be a current person. The cards might even tell you something about finances, career. Um, I am unbiased. I just pull the cards and the cards say whatever they want to say to you, whatever they want to say to this energy group. So I try to take myself out of it as much as possible. But let's see what the current story is. Knight of Wands. Six of Wands reversed. King of Wands. King of Pentacles. The Devil. The Eight of Cups. And the King of Cups. Three different kings here. Okay, that's interesting. I had to stop and look at that for a minute because I was like, what is this trying to say? Um, but the energy I get from this is that basically, so the last reading I did, I was getting that, you know, your life partner might not be your usual type. Some of you have been asking for love, but you're attracted to a certain type of man, like, or a certain type of woman, um, male or female, you know, gender doesn't matter. Um, but you might be attracted to a certain type of person. Maybe they're emotionally unavailable. They could even be potentially abusive. And it's, it's not like you're consciously attracting that or attracted to that. It's it's more of a subconscious thing that maybe you, some of you had that in your childhoods or you went through something traumatic. So you kind of um, have been repeating those patterns. Um, maybe you have you know self-confidence issues that you're still working on. And so some of you, you know, have been subconsciously attracted to, to men or women that just aren't you know, very good for you, aren't very supportive of you. But I feel like a lot of you have done the healing work. A lot of you have changed those patterns or you're at least very close to changing those patterns. And that reading that I did a couple weeks ago was about that. It's like your person might not be your type. You're going to be scared because it's going to be so unfamiliar. And, you know, the physical attraction might be sort of there at first, but you might have to develop it over time. And, you know, you might it might be really unfamiliar. It might be to the point where you're like, why is this person paying for everything why is this person treating me like a queen or a king why is this person so good to me how could it be this easy some of you have this mentality that if it's too it like too good to be true mentality like how could life be this easy after how hard my life has been how could it just how could it be this simple um some of you have that kind of mentality of like like um what is it called? The fear of happiness where you fear that if you let yourself be too happy, it's inevitable that something horrible is going to happen. It's like some of you have that kind of mentality, that kind of fear of like, you know, just not letting good things happen for you. And, you know, you have a lot of patterns that you have to break. I'm sure you've broken a lot of them already, but it's still, you know, healing is a process. Healing isn't, it's not like you, you get to a point where you're completely healed and you're good. It's like healing is an ongoing process and you can have love and be happy while simultaneously healing as long as you've done a lot of the healing work already as long as you're in a position where you're not going to sabotage this relationship that's either just come in or coming in for you because like I said some of you so many of you have been praying for love for so long like you've been asking your spirit guides like why am I still, still alone like why when is my person coming in and I think the reality is that you know your spirit guides couldn't bring this love in earlier because you would have friend zoned this person. They would not have resonated with you. They would have treated you so well. They would have been so different. They would have been so outside of your comfort zone that a lot of you would honestly have sabotaged this. Maybe not consciously sabotaged it, but you might have done things subconsciously that would have eventually pushed this person away. Like they like testing them, questioning them all the time, not trusting them, creating issues that didn't need to be there out of fear. Um, so your spirit guys have had to kind of wait until you're at that point where you at least, at least healed enough not to sabotage this. Like, I think they expect that this relationship is going to scare you. It is going to be different. You're going to notice the energy difference too. Like, wow, I've never had anyone buy me flowers before. I've never had anyone, um, you know, tr travel for six, 10 hours to see me. I've never had anyone, 
um, say I love you first, you know, things like that. There's going to be things like that in this relationship that you're going to be like, wow, this is this is not what I'm used to at all. Um, and you're going to know, I think, intuitively. But but like I said, at first, you might you might not know completely at first. You might be at first. You might be kind of freaked out. You might be kind of like, like I said, like, is this too good to be true? Like you might. And like I said before, I think you would have um, you might have sabotaged it. You might not have been attracted to them. You might have tested them too much. You might have just put them in the friend zone. You might have just made incorrect assumptions about them. And it's like your spirit guides had to get you to this point where even though you might be still be working on yourself, you're at least way more confident than you used to be. You're at least confident enough to know that you do deserve true love. You do deserve a lifelong partnership. You do deserve real lasting happiness, mutual love with someone finally after all you've been through with people in the past. Um, so, so the message in that last video was just, you know, don't sabotage this. It will, it will push you out of your comfort zone. You will go through major life changes this year that you might not have been expecting. Um, but like when it's true love, you're going to know. And you're, like I said, there's not going to be red flags. I think that you're intuitive enough now also to, to really be honest about the red flags and the green flags. And with this person, it's going to be like green flag after green flag after green flag. Like there's, they're not going to talk down to you or be abusive or, or, you know, cheat or ghost you. There's, there's going to be consistent communication between you two with this person. Like they're going to, you know what I mean? Like they're going to know. It's like, you don't, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're just going to know, they're going to know at some point that you are just their person. And like, for some of you, you've already, you're already dating this person for others. It's like, you feel them just around the corner. Like you're about to meet them. Some of you have just meet, met them, like wherever you are in this story, just, just don't sabotage, just, you know, be consistent, be balanced, be grounded. Um, but anyway, what the, what the cards are saying too is, cause I think for a lot of you, and you know, if this is your story, you'll know if you're in this energy group, don't try to make it fit. If it's not fitting, it's either your story or it's not, you know what I mean? And if you want, um, if you want a, an in-depth private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. But basically the energy I get is just, um, you know, for a lot of you, this is like, this is a soulmate or a twin flame, even that's a potential life partner. And you're going to have a lot of people from your past coming back. Look, you've got three different men or women coming back around. So king or queen of wands, king or king of cut or king or queen of cups and king or queen of pentacles. All these people, so this could be, this could literally be like a fire sign, an earth sign, and a water sign, or people with heavy, heavy placements in their charts. This could also just be like, you might have one specific person that's in like a very passionate, very, um, could be someone who was kind of hot and cold, kind of like ghosted you a little bit, or kind of, um, you know, like I said, could be another fire sign, or just someone with like that fiery, passionate energy, like it starts really quickly, but then it ends really quickly, like they want what they want when they want it, but... But after that, it's like no, no, no ability to commit long term. And then this other person, which may be um, maybe more stable or more grounded, but maybe too logical for you or just not just not right for you. King of Cups, someone King of Cups is usually a good energy. This is usually someone who's emotional, um, who's open. But I noticed that the King of Swords is not here. And usually the King of Swords to me is, is I wouldn't say it's like negative, but it's usually someone who's harsh and cold. But in this context, because I always channel the cards. So I always I look at the, the images, how they're all how they're placed. Um, I always intuitively, you know, read the cards instead of just going by the book definition every single time you know what I mean like I always kind of feel the energy out so in this context I feel like the king of swords is actually a good thing I kind of feel like the king of swords is your person or your queen of swords and this is someone who's strong who's sturdy and I almost see like they took this sword and it's like they cut all these past partners out like they're just like no you're mine now like and I feel like I actually feel like you're gonna get some closure and some justice with three different people and this isn't for all of you. I think I think there's at least two. For others, I think there's three or possibly even more than three. But I think anyone that you have like karmic ties with, they're going to come back around. So there's two different reasons that these people could come back around. 
one and it could possibly be both you know take what resonates because you know there, this is an energy group so this is a specific energy group but remember there's specific messages in here for specific people that are going to be drawn to this video so keep that in mind too not every single message is going to be for you but um but basically what i feel is like you might have some karmic partners that come back around and this could be someone that you thought you were going to marry at some point this could be someone that you really did love someone that ghosted you or just was negative towards you and they're partially coming back around so that you can end those those cycles those patterns on your own like you can have that justice you can take that sword of truth and you know cut them out yourself you can you know, you can have that closure with them. You can end that cycle. You're ending a major cycle this year and beginning a whole new cycle in your life. This could be new home, new vehicle, new, um, could be children coming in this year for some of you, uh, new love, just, just lots of, lots of life changing energy. Like you've done the healing work and I feel like you guys are going to be rewarded for that this year. Um, but, um, but yeah, some of your, your exes are going to be coming back around just so you can end that karmic cycle yourself. So you can clear that energy up. Like for some of you, your spirit guides are still testing you because they want to see, like, are you going to, they want to make sure that you're good with yourself. They want to make sure that you're not going to go back to old toxic patterns with people out of loneliness. They want to, they want to be like, okay, you're asking for this true love. You're asking for this, this, you know, knight in shining armor type. That's going to treat you like a king or queen. But are you going to be able to match that energy? Are you going to be able to be strong and cut out toxic people from your past? You know, like, are you going to be able to stand on your own? Like some of your spirit guides are testing you, you know, as, as frustrating as it is. And like I said, I'm unbiased here. I'm just, I channel it as it comes. Like, you know, take it up with your spirit guides. If you don't like the messages, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, some of you are just meant to end those karmic cycles. So that's why you have people coming back around. I also feel like it's just for closure because some of you, like for a lot of you, I feel like you didn't have closure with these people. Like they ghosted you or they were the one that left you. They were the ones that left you or they like, maybe you guys got in arguments and you just kind of stopped talking, like things like that. Cause six of wands is usually about being in the public eye, but reversed, it's almost like like you were trying to get these people's attention in the past and now you're not. You're just kind of like, eh, like it is what it is. Like you don't really care about it anymore, you know? Like you've gotten past that. You've gotten over that, I think. And, um, you know, with the Knight of Wands here too, it's like this is, this is coming in like passionately. Like I think you have these people that are going to try to win you back over. And that happens too when you're dating your life partner, you're dating like a, someone that you're going to have at least be with for, you know, years and years. Like they can feel that energy. It's like they can feel that you're not seeking their attention anymore. You're not missing them anymore. You're, you've leveled up drastically and you're leveling up with someone else. And I think most of you are already energetically, telepathically connecting with this true love, even if you haven't physically met them yet. Like this new, this new life partner that's coming in, like most of you are aware of it. Um, but yeah, it's like these people that like kind of took you for granted and kind of put you on hold there. It's like, they're going to feel this energy. Like, wow, like he or she is like moving on They're You're, you're about to be living your best life within the next year. And they're going to feel that. And they're going to try to pull you back in with this devil energy. Like, like, hey, I missed you. What's up? How you been? <laughs> you know, you know it. <laughs> you know that energy. Like old toxic patterns. And like I said, your spirit guides are going to challenge you too to see how committed you are to this new life that you're asking for. Like, can you stand up to toxic people? Can you be strong on your own? And when this true love comes in, if it has not come in already, can you accept it and embrace it and not sabotage it can you can you really let someone treat you like a king or queen can you accept that love can you accept good things in your life can you be grounded and stable and consistent with that and it's hard it, it really is if you've been if you've had a bad childhood if you've been traumatized it really is hard not to be terrified and you're going to be scared but I think the point is like working through that fear and not letting it create issues that aren't there in this new relationship. You know what I mean? Like not letting that fear get the best of you, learning healthy ways to communicate. Cause like I said, this, this relationship that's coming in, is going to be way different for you. It might also be you know, matching your person. It might also be very different for this person that's coming in for you. Like you might not have had a relationship like this before. 
Um, I mean, they might not have had a relationship like this before either is what I'm feeling. But yeah, I feel like you're going to get some closure with, with some people that really took you for granted in the past. You're going to have people seeing you in this, this new energy and you're going to be in this eight of cups energy where you're like, you're starting a new life. You know, like I said, new home, new, new living situation, new, possibly children, new love, just lots of new life changing energy for you this year. I also see that a lot of you are going to go through another psychic awakening this year. If you have not already gone through one, it can be very intense. Um, that's something I do in readings too, is I'll help you understand that energy. Cause I've been through it. I, I straight up thought I was going crazy when I went through mine. So it's, it's intense and I, I get that, but you know, you are protected. Um, a lot of you are going to be getting on your spiritual path this year too. And I feel like this, this King of Swords, and again, usually the King of Swords, I don't channel in a good context, but in this particular context, in this particular spread, I feel like the King of Swords is just someone who's stronger. The King or Queen of Swords, it's like he or she is stronger than all these other people. This is like alpha male or alpha female energy. Like you're going to see why it didn't work out with any of these other people. You know what I mean? Like you're going to see why this, this other person is your person. You feel me? Um, but you're starting a new life. Like you're just, you're starting a new life. It's beautiful energy. Any other messages? Stagnation, complacency. Listen, yeah, you were in a stagnant energy for a long time. And now it's like, you have this new perspective. Like you have true love. It's like true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open mindedness, your faith and your bravery. And in addition to true love, it's like you're going to have this new perspective that's coming in. I think it's already coming in for you, but I feel like definitely like this this year, probably this the, this summer, I would say for most of you, um, that's like gotten you out of stagnation. Because I feel like a lot of you are just doing the same old thing on repeat. Like you're just the same old energy, like same, maybe you've been in the same living situation for too long, like maybe like bad roommates or just depression or whatever else, like just kind of same old, same old energy. And it's like this year, it's like you have this new perspective, you travel, you open up, you, you start seeing things in a different light. So you come back, you might have the same issues, but you're coming back to them from a new approach, from this new perspective. And you're like leveling up and you're wrapping up a lot of karmic lessons right now. A lot of karmic lessons, a lot of karmic lessons and a lot of new energy is coming in. And this is not only going to lead to new love, it's also going to lead to psychic empowerment dreams visions telepathy getting on your psychic path getting on the path that was destined for you your spiritual path yeah end of a pattern or cycle breakthrough freedom yeah it's like you let's see truth and clarity shyness fear of rejection you might get yeah, you're going to have the truth coming out. Yeah, I think this is kind of about those those three other people. It's like they're going to be like, oh, I was shy. I was afraid of rejection. I was unstable. I had, you know, it's blah, blah, blah. But it's like, you know what? If they ghosted you, screw them. Yeah, because they're going to try to come back in and manipulate you. But you're, they're going to want reconciliation. But you're ending this. You're ending this pattern, this cycle. You're having this breakthrough, this freedom. These people that you thought you wanted, these people that you you gave so much to, you're not going to want them in the end. They're just not going to resonate with your energy. That's how much you're leveling up. They're not even going to be able to touch your energy. They're going to be, it's like you wanted this closure too for so long. I think a lot of you wanted, like, I just want an apology. I just want like something like some of you, like some of you kind of miss them, but you kind of also just want like the closure. You just want them to, to, you know, recognize that it was wrong to ghost you or it was wrong to do this or wrong to do that. And when you get it, like, yeah, I think you're going to get some sense of relief, but I think you're not going to feel a thing for them. I think you're going to be surprised like how easy it is for you to say no to them because you're going to be so committed to this, this beautiful new life that you have just, you know, ending all these old cycles, breaking through, stepping out of your comfort zone, um, getting on your psychic path. This is a very beautiful energy. And like I said, if you'd like a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. The email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. But like I said, for the spelling or whatever, you can just copy and paste it below, um, into your email. Any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. And, um, yeah, please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you guys for watching.